Welcome to the Eco How Workshop. This is a nice simple activity for anyone who wants to help out bumblebees and it only requires a few things that you can find around your garden. You'll need a terracotta flower pot, bigger than 20 centimeters in diameter, some hose pipe, greater than 18 millimeters in diameter and between 30 to 50 centimeters long, a piece of flat rock, a tile or the flower pot's tray. This will be the roof of your home and keep the bees nice and dry. Some nesting material, we'll talk more about this in a bit. And finally, some chicken wire. The first step is to make sure your pot has a hole in the top. This will ensure it's ventilated. If not, carefully drill a hole using an electric drill. Next, take your chicken wire and cut it into a square that almost covers the top of the flower pot. Then bend the corners inwards so it fits inside like this. Now onto the hose. Use a nail, a skewer, we use this braddle, to pierce four or five holes into the underside of the hose. This is to provide drainage for any water that gets into the hose. Ideally, your nesting material should come from a rodent nest. Why, I hear you ask? Well, the queen bee, when flying around and picking her nest site, will pick up on the scent of rodents like mice. Abandoned rodent holes are fantastic places for bumblebees to nest. So you could use straw from pet mouse nest if you have one, but we're presuming most people don't have a pet mouse, so dry moss is a great alternative. And now you have everything ready, let's get outside and place the nest. The best position for your bumblebee home is in the shade, ideally along hedges, banks or fences like we have here. First, dig a small, shallow trench and place your hose pipe in, with the drainage holes pointing downwards. Make sure to bury the hose, leaving the other end sticking out of the soil. Also, dig out a small area next to your hose, about 2cm deep, the size of the circumference of your plant pot. Next, place your chicken wire down this way and put your nesting material on top. Now, place the plant pot in the area you've dug out. The hose should lead inside the plant pot. Firm the soil around the plant pot. Finally, pop a few small stones on top of the plant pot and place your slab or tile on top. This allows air circulation as well as keeping your bees dry. And then you're done! Having lots of flowers in your garden will act as a food source for your bees. And don't worry, even if bumblebees don't use the home, lots of other invertebrates will. You might even find a mouse makes its home inside over winter, which will increase your chances of bumblebees next year. Bumblebees also like to nest in tall grass, so why not leave a patch unmown in your garden? Let us know how you get on with this mini wildlife project, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.